Michael Happy here and very happy for another story behind a watch. We're going to speak here about the Gavox Aurora. The Gavox Aurora was really the start of the whole Gavox journey. Why? Is because I already worked on it before creating the company. In 2010, with my cousin, we decided talking about the watch and talking about the movement that could create all the functions I needed. But first of all, let's go back in time. Let's go back to the story where I learned what a watch was and how I became passionate about a type of watch that I would create, the Aurora. When young, I was swimming almost every day with a little watch called the Kelton and it always took humidity and I had to open it, change it, clean it, put it back, dive again the next day. I got into the watch that way. I was only eight, nine. Then my brother came back from the United States with a Casio. That was the start of all the LCD watches. Such amazing watch. First it was just hour, minute, second, date. But then it got with alarms, it got functions more complicated, and I was a freak of Casio, a, a really freak. Until I got, at 17 years old, a Tissot Ballad. Then, that was my first dress watch. It was a beautiful watch. It had loom, a display case back, beautiful hands, uh, movement, automatic, visible, with a rotor. It was a stunning discovery for me. The first automatic watch I had. And elegant. And then, with a cousin living in Switzerland, and then he was main designer at Longines, he showed me the whole world of watches. And this way, for me, it was a revelation when I could create my own movement with a Swiss company, Soprod, and doing all the features I wanted I had in the Casio, but bringing it to life into a beautiful watch, very piloty. As you know, pilot watch needs four major things, black dial and white marking for high contrast, luminescent in the dark, it needs water resistant, dust proof, and also anti-reflection. We use here a stain stainless steel brush case or a stainless steel PVD black case. And even we created this rose gold uh, case PVD who will last a long time. But all that, no shiny, because the pilot don't want to have a glare in their eyes when looking at their watch. And this creation is bringing everything a Casio had into a watch with only four hands. So let me flabbergast you. Let me astonish you with all the features. It has a perpetual calendar, so no need of changing the month. He knows it. It has a second time zone, and these two time zones can be separated by a quarter of an hour. Why? Because you would go to Nepal. Nepal is 4 hours 45 minutes above GMT. What? 45? Yes, there are three countries in the world that does a difference of 45 minutes compared to the normal stand time zone. Now, we have a chronograph, a mission chronograph, 32, 31 hour, a countdown, a mission countdown, and a moon phase in this watch. So, four hands, all that, how is it possible? I will need to show you or to send you to another video I will create about Gavox, which explain all the features of that watch and how it works. 
You also can, if you want, go on my website, Gavox, and search for fun stuff and you check Gavox Aurora Watch and you will be able to play with it. You will be able, uh, able to see how it works. As you see here, the hands are moving counterclockwise. This is the countdown. I can make it. This movement, support made, allows me to have bi-directional hands. And it took me five years to produce the watch finally. Why? Because first I had to find the movement. I had to prove the movement was qualitative enough for that watch. I did six major modifications on the chain of production with Soprod to make this movement. It was a benefit to other brands like Tagurer, like Edox, like Vostok. They used this movement and they benefited from this finding. I did. I was very alone in the process. They accepted making 500 movement for me. Well, this makes this very precious as well. And I would really recommend you checking online the review one and round did about that watch. 32 minutes, just about one watch, means so much to say about it. And well, I'm very happy to still have some left available for all, all of you, not all, a few. And I do hope with this story, you will understand how creating a watch is not an easy thing, but so we're rewarding with all the people who say great stuff about it. Now, two different things I want to talk about. One is the pilot that used this watch to do the countdown of his flight. So with a 31 hour countdown, you can set the exact time you suspect to have the flight. Normally, your flight plan tells you 11 hour 50 to reach the destination. Okay, 11 hour 50 in the watch. And when he lands, he wants to land on the right second, which is amazing. And I have a photo to show that. Another very in interesting thing, a reviewer, a blogger, told me that if someone wanted to create this watch in automatic movement, it would cost tremendous money. Maybe Patek Philippe could do it. But then again, I made this amazing watch using this support movement and it has all these features. And I love so much when some client says, I said to myself, never anymore will I buy a watch with a battery. And they buy mine. They have so many beautiful automatic, but the Aurora can do things no one can. Well, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the story behind the Gavox Aurora. And check out all the blogs, all the forums. Take care. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.